gorgeous welcome back to my channel today i am going to do a demo and review video as you can tell from the title for this gorgeous hourglass face palette if you guys interested to see how the shades look like on my skin tone um and what my thoughts are about this palette please keep watching so hourglass always release these palettes um, during holiday time so the most exciting part this time is because they always lack in diversity for like medium to deep skin tone they usually more lean towards you know fair skin um, their palettes and all they're like they are recently getting into you know catering towards more medium and deeper skin tones which is finally they are listening I guess because they were receiving so much backlash which i think they deserve because you know when you're a makeup brand and you should be catering for everybody not just you know one specific skin tone but anyway so this year they actually released three palettes so one is the butterfly palette the elephant palette and the tiger palette so this is the one i'm actually going to review for you guys um, i am actually going to pick the elephant one as well but that is currently sold out and i haven't had and i didn't get really get a chance to go to any stores to see if any of the stores got uh, any of the elephant palettes because these palettes being really really popular this year because this year they're catering to everybody medium skin tone dark skin tone fair skin tone you know everybody will find a palette this year because usually they only release like one palette each year and it's mostly like people with fair to medium skin tone can get away with it but like those palettes were never i don't think they will show on like dark deep complexions i haven't even swatched this palette this is like so pretty so just going to dive into it so let's open this back over it comes in this kind of cardboard packaging it's on the ground yeah okay and this is what the palette looked like so this so this one called ambient lighting added unlock tiger palette and yeah this packaging is beautiful and then once you open it this is what the palette look like i mean like it's got so many beautiful gorgeous shades and i think this palette is the one which got like new shades and very different shades actually um for you know bronzer blush and highlight so you got one finishing powder you got three straw powders and then you got two blushes but um, if you are closer to my skin tone, you can basically use all these four as your blush and then this one as a bronzer and this one as a highlighter. So as you can see, this is a beautiful, beautiful palette and we're just going to go, actually we're just going to dig into it because it's just really pretty. Right, so I'll do some swatches for you guys. The one thing it's, um, so it's a metallic closure and sometimes I don't know, it's not hard to open but sometimes i just forget how to open it but not a big deal another thing i notice is like the mirror it doesn't sit straight like it just goes all the way back so i mean like not a big deal because you can still see or you can just you know hold it like that but if you suppose you have put it on the table to do your makeup you can't really do that because you can't really see yourself you have to put something at the back for the mirror to to hold the mirror basically because okay this is disgusting uh, it's really really dirty because but you can tell that this palette is well loved palette so i can't even remember if it was like from two years ago or three years ago but so this is again the holiday palette it does not have magnetic chlora so you actually have to push it and then you open it so this is so because i have this one i always try to open the new palette like that but that one is just you push it and then it just opens but anyway so with this one so the mirror stays like that so i always use this uh whenever i'm getting ready so when i have to see closer like you know if i'm fitting my brows um if i'm applying my concealer or whatever i always use this i mean like i need to clean this but as you can see this palette's well loved like 
you can't really dig into too much into blushes but i have used the powders and the bronzer like this palette is well loved so anyway so as you can see like it is really dirty uh, but yeah i love hourglass palettes you can't go wrong with hourglass palettes so apart from that i'm pretty sure i'm going to love this palette i should stop rambling about it so we're just gonna go right into the palette uh, so this is a powder but we're going to actually use this as a bronzer so i am going to just take this brush and just don't want to blind you with the mirror so i'm just going to hold it like that all right so we're going to go with this there's a little bit kick to the powder but and we're just gonna that is a clean nice shade go into the other side i can i actually have to go light-handed as you can see so um this side and then this side i probably just have to blend it with the foundation brush a little because this is way too dark use a little bit around my nose as well sorry my mirror is here so that's why i'm looking away this is how the finishing powder looks like when you use zinc as a bronzer you can use this as an eyeshadow as well so oh my god i don't know like there are um so many blushes so i'm i don't know how i'm going to use all of these but i am actually all right so we're going to apply two different blushes on like my two cheeks uh, firstly we're going to go with the burnished glow which is like this beautiful beautiful terracotta orange color all right i'll try to go light-handed right as you can see a depth of the brush that's like a beautiful blush for summer I'm just gonna apply a little bit more I'm actually applying a little bit more so you guys can actually see this is what burnished glow looks like I'm loving it it's just such a beautiful beautiful shade all right so there's not much left on the brush so the next blush i'm gonna go with this is the strobe light in copper flash so we're gonna go with this one it's really calling my name okay really like copper i don't know if you can see it mm. oh wow Right, so this is what copper flash strobe light looks like on my skin tone i'm actually really loving it um i would like to tone it down a little bit probably like with a beauty sponge but just for the sake of the video um so that you guys can actually see how it looks like um and then now what i'll do is i was just gonna go with my foundation brush and i'm just gonna tone it down a little same so these are the two blushes so this side we got burnished glow and this side we got copper flash i love both of these blushes like these are beautiful on the orange side and this one right here it's as the name suggests you know it's more on the copper side um it's just beautiful i'm not really sure how well the camera will be picking up um because i'm just filming in the natural lighting but i hope that you can see this beautiful glow that it's adding to my skin because i can see in the mirror so yeah this is what these two blushes look like what i'll do is i'm going to um apply foundation and get rid of these two blushes and then we're gonna try the other two blushes uh, as well so the blush that we're going to apply is actually a strobe powder in brilliant glow strobe light so this one right here this 
one looks like the copper flash actually um, yeah I don't know if I will be able to use that as a powder should we try it I do actually try it on my forehead to see if I can get away with just using this as a powder I'm not too sure no that ad I don't know if you can tell but it's it's adding like too much shine to my forehead where it's like emphasizing the texture on my forehead um, not sure if you know I will apply if I'll just blend it with the beauty sponge maybe it'll get rid of it but yeah I can't I can't use this as a face powder but anyways we tried a beautiful blush as well as you can see and the next blush that we're going to try is this one right here and it's in the shade iridescent rose this is such a beautiful shade oh okay usually i'm not a fan of like pink blushes but this one i don't mind i'm just gonna apply a little bit on my nose as well this is iridescent rose it's such a beautiful pink never thought I don't know I just I wasn't really excited about this blush actually I was excited about this one right here and this one but even this shade is beautiful like all the shades are really really beautiful I'm just going to apply this my eyeshadow because I haven't applied anything on my eyes yeah, this actually looks really nice it's like a chocolate brown just a little bit you know shine to it god this is such a beautiful shade i've been really into like dark chocolate eyeshadows i don't know it just they look so beautiful this is how this shade looks like on my eyes i actually really like it so this one right here this is the one that i actually applied on my eyes and i actually really like it it's beautiful i'm going to use the divine strobe light in the middle of my eyes so we should add you know a little bit metallic on the eyes all right this is how it looks like last thing is left is the highlighter i applied on my eyes and it's in the shade divine strobe light oh my god i just i keep forgetting the night oh my god, i'm terrible at it but oh well so i think i can get away with this highlighter um palettes they do have you know these very very tiny tiny like micro what do you call it micro glitters i'm not too sure if that's the right term because i can't think because i can't think of the word um where you will think you know that it'll look probably tacky or you know you can you will be able to see these sparkles on your face but as soon as you apply on your face it just melts into your skin and it just adds this such a beautiful glow and then you can go you know light-handed you can go heavy-handed with it it's just gorgeous like you can't go wrong with hourglass palettes so what i'm going to do now is because i have like two different cheeks so i'm going to fix this up and i will see you guys in a bit hi guys so i actually ended up applying iridescent rose so the last brush in the palette this one right here it's just i don't know i'm not really impressed it's just such a beautiful shade and especially for my skin tone i don't know there something about the shade it just looks really really beautiful so this is the finished look so we applied pretty much all the powders which are in this palette we tried all these blushes and powders so do let me know in the comment section below if you guys have picked it up which shade is your favorite um yeah i'm actually really loving the eyes as well and the highlighter everything like if you are on the hunt of one of the palettes you know face palette basically definitely give our glass a go because you can't go wrong with it and then you know for, even for traveling purposes like you got your um blush here bronzer here 
I am actually going to pick up the elephant palette as well because in that palette there is a bronzer and powder as well so you know you don't have to carry powder with you um, you know if you're traveling so it's like one and done palette so if you go like 10 if you are deeper complexion this is like your one and done palette especially for traveling because you got powder you got you know these beautiful brushes these beautiful brushes that you know you can use as a blush you can use as the eyeshadow as well so this is just such a beautiful palette so i thought that i will love this palette and i was not wrong um as you can tell that my old palette has been like beige into that depth and i still love this so i know that i will be getting you know lots of use out of this palette um using as the blushes or bronzer or eyeshadow like you can't go wrong with you it know, i'm pretty sure like you guys already know my final thoughts you know that i i love our glass palettes that's it end of the story you can't go wrong with it they're just beautiful like if you want to try like a face powder or a blush uh, and you don't really know and you don't really know where to start you can start with our glass yes the price is hefty but if you will buy this palette like these are beautiful um in australia it's retail for 120 uh, and you can buy it from mecca like if you're in the us you can buy from sephora you can pick this palette up either from Cold beauty or space and k okay so if you guys are in the hunt of a beautiful palette i don't think you can go wrong or if you just want to treat yourself this is such a beautiful palette all right my gorgeous and that's all for today's video i hope you guys liked the video and if you did please give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't already do let me know in the comment section below if you guys have picked up any of these hourglass palettes or if you are going to pick up which one and stay happy stay safe and i will see you guys in my next video bye my gorgeous